Okay guys, so welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's all right. Um, today, um, one of my regulars, uh, I've just done the grass. Um, so I normally do the grass and then just spend a bit of time pruning or tidying up whatever time I've got left. So today, um, we've got these Michaelmas daisies, which have um, pretty much finished now. So I'm just gonna cut them down in a minute. The others are still flowering quite nicely, with bees and butterflies on them. Um, we've also got these um, Iliagnus bushes, um, which have gone mad. Um, so I'm going to give them a trim up. There's one there and then another one um, just over here. Again, some Michaelmas daisy, so we'll just trim those down. Um, they're starting to look a bit messy now. So yeah, um, so yeah, I'm just going to go and start over there, um, tidying those up first.
Okay, so there we go. Um, like I said, it was just a quick little uh, video. Um, it's got those Illy Agnes tidied up though. Um, so these um, flower this time of year. Um, not very noticeable flowers, but um, they are um, highly scented actually. Um, smell quite nice um, at certain times of the day, probably in the evening more. The bees like them, so I mean, it was a bit of a shame to trim it but actually the flowers tend to be on the um slightly older growth not the tall stuff um so actually the flowers are generally still on there as you can see um oh, like i say they're not particularly noticeable um because it's quite a vigorous shrub but there we go that's those tidied up um as you saw there's the little penstemon there i was just deadheading because they'll keep flowering until we get a frost um, or till the weather turns a lot colder. Um, just so you know, a few of the other shrubs we got here, in case anyone asks, we got Osmanthus. Os Osmanthus sounds a bit posh, doesn't it? Um, Osmanthus um, there next to it, and then there's a variegated holly um, just behind it there. Um, got there's a cherry there, and then we got Pittosporum. The purpley coloured one there they're quite nice and um, then we've got viburnum here which is just starting to flower again they kind of flower on and off during the year supposedly a winter flowering shrub but i don't know if you can make head nor tail of when they flower i don't know they seem to do it on and off during the year but anyway um and then there's the other one i trimmed up over here um next to that we got a big um red robin fatinia um, some of them I need to cut back. Um, they flower in the spring, so now's not really the ideal time to prune them, but some of these are getting quite big, and I think I'm going to have to do them regardless of flowering, etc. Um, so, yeah, behind this we've got a Cytisus uh, smoke bush. Um, it's just changing colour. The leaves will be changing and dropping off that soon as it's deciduous. Um, they have the sort of fluffy looking flowers in the in the summer, um, or spring, summer. Um, so yeah, and then tucked away in the back here is a fatsia. Um, in fact, that is just about to flower. Just coming up with its pom-pom flowers on now. Um, so yeah, this is a Nandinia um, ornamental bamboo, quite nice. Um, again, has some quite nice uh, white flowers on, um, which then turn to these uh, sort of nice berries um, this time of year. Um, here you might be wondering what's going on. There's actually, um, it's an oak, it's a holm oak, um, which is a evergreen oak um, good by the sea good in coastal areas um, as they don't mind the wind and the salt air um, this grew up by itself it wasn't planted but i decided it might be an interesting thing to to let it grow up a bit taller and then i'm gonna shape it into a like a sort of ball probably and just keep it reasonably small i just thought it might be an interesting thing to do but who knows <laughs> don't know if the customer's convinced or not but <laughs> i said bear with me and we'll see what it looks like anyway so yeah anyway right i'm going to end it there um like i say just a quick little video so thanks everyone for watching and i will catch everyone on the next video